Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons. It is December 31st, 2020. I've been beating my head for two hours on the corner of my desk trying to get Carlson Survey to do spot elevations the way I want. It's been a major project. I think I finally have it figured out. <laughs> so what I'm trying to do is get it to draw uh, points like this with a custom spot elevation symbol and specific uh, point attributes with a prefix and a suffix on the elevation and the right rounding. I'm trying to get the get it to do that all automated. Okay, which I which I had set up in Civil 3D. I think I've got it working. So I want to quickly, hopefully, walk you guys through what you need to do to get this to work. It's a fiasco. I personally would do this in a separate drawing. So I have a drawing that I'm going to set up just for this. In fact, let's do that while we're talking about. So I am going to save this in our templates folder. And I'm going to just call it Spot Elevation. Spot Elevations. So we'll do our spot elevations in this drawing, and then we can drop them in our topo drawing. They'll go in our topo anno drawing. Okay, so how does this work? You need a couple things to get this to work. So when you're setting up your own drawing for, and, and you want to get set up for spot elevations, you could use this for other stuff too, but I, I'm using it for spot elevations. But you could do this with other blocks, kind of custom labels. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you have a symbol library with your block in it. And that block needs to be clean, no junk layers. It can't be a block within a drawing. It's got to be, because I that messed me up, right? So you can't have a, you can't open your symbol drawing and then have a block embedded in that. It's so when you open your symbol drawing, it's got to have the loose entities in it. So start with a, with a clean symbol drawing that meets those requirements. So, if you come over here to Setup, on your ribbon, Symbol Library, have a symbol library that has the symbol that you want. So, I once I got my clean block, you hit Import Symbol. It's going to go ahead and import the symbol. It keeps it in some funky C drive location. Uh, I'm going to talk to the Carlson boys. I'll figure out how to switch that. But So, on my computer, it's under... See users, your it'd be you, your username, app data, roaming, Carlson software, Carlson 2021, this weird IntelliCAD folder, SUP for support. This is where it copies it over. Just realize if, if you dork it up a couple times, you got to go in here and clean out this folder or it'll get buggy. So I just wanted to show you guys that. So, step one, get a clean block into your symbol library, the block that you want to use. Step two is uh, make sure that you have your textile set up the way you want. So uh, Carlson uses this p-text for point text. Make sure you set that to the font that you want. So I've already done that. I have doses. Okay, that's step two. Step three is you need to have a code library for fill to finish set up. Uh, you could probably do this, add these spot elevation codes to your normal feature code library. I did it separately because I was trying to keep things clean and not blow stuff up, and I'll probably keep it that way. So let me go in and show you how you have to set the code library up. So I've got this code library here I called RH Spot Codes, and you can see I've got a code set up for all of our different kinds of spots. So we really only have four that we use, concrete, pavement, ground, and gravel. Okay, just a, a couple things to note. Let's open up the concrete code. Okay, you're going to put the code here. I'm not using the raw descriptions. I don't want to see the raw description on my spot elevations, so I'm using a default description here. Okay, I've got it set to the right layer. So this, for us, survey topo points concrete spot. Okay, so make sure you set the right layer. I like this attribute layout too. Works well for what I'm doing. Okay, decimals right here on my hardscape, my pavement and concrete, I showed it two decimal places. Okay. I do want the points on real Z. I'm only drawing the points. Okay, really important over here in your symbol, make sure you click this or click this and set your symbol to your custom block. You won't see it if it's not in your symbol library. If you don't see it like this, if you see blank white here, you got a problem. <laughs> problem with your block probably. Learned that the hard way. Okay, so just to show you guys real quick the difference on these soft softscape spots, everything's basically the same except I dropped the decimal down here to a single 
zero to the right of the decimal point, single single digit. Okay. So you got to set up your code library. That's the third thing. So we've got that. I'll go ahead and save it. Okay. By the way, I, I couldn't figure out how to get this to work with the survey draw locate points. Uh, I just didn't have the functionality I needed. That's why I'm doing it with fill to finish. If you've gotten this to work with your with your uh, draw locate points settings, let me know. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot to show you guys on your code library. Um, I like to have this prefix for my spots, this el colon with the foot tick as a suffix. So you set that up in your codes, in your code library. It's not the right code library, sorry, survey. So where you set that is right down here in this section. It's got the elevation prefix. I put a space in there. <laughs> and then I've got the, the foot mark, foot tick for the suffix. Okay. Alright, so if you get got a clean block in your symbol library. You've got your text, your p-text layer set to the style you want, and you have your code library set. You're almost done. So then you just basically draw your points with field to finish, and there's one other change you might have to make to your layers, which I'll explain. So just so you guys can see, I've got some test data in here. So I've got these two points. They're just dummy points. One set up with the paved spot. One set up with the ground spot. Okay, and I, the reason I have these two in here as a sample is because I want to make sure the rounding is working correctly. So we're going to delete this. Okay, and then we're going to go uh, survey, draw field to finish, and we're going to draw everything. And you can see now I have my two points, right? I've got my pavement and my ground, but it's properly rounded the ground elevation to the nearest tenth of a foot. But it's got the hardscape to the nearest hundredth. I can't believe I got it freaking working. Okay, now one thing I do want to show you guys. Uh, when you first run this, it will create these three layers will be the default. Um, I'm sorry, these three layers will be the default layers that, that come with Carlson. It's like point mark, point desk, point, I can't remember. P&O for point number, whatever. You just change those one time set your colors and it'll keep using those same layers which is awesome that's part of the reason why i think you want to do this in a template drawing and then just do your spots in the separate drawing okay so there you go it works holy freaking smokes it took me forever to do that um but i got it figured out it, i honestly you know i was beating my head on it but it works so if you're trying this and you have trouble reach out to me by email or my cell I'll try and help you out i'm sure i'm going to do this with some things other than spots you know i don't know you um one of the tutorial videos, you know, you can do your manhole rims and just show the elevation for your manhole rims. So maybe the manhole symbol and then um, elevation just like this. And then maybe underneath here it says uh, storm or sewer or whatever. Um, so I'm sure there's other ways I'm going to use this. But I wanted to show it to you guys. Thanks for watching the video. I am going to do another video or two that show you how you could do a block for manual spot elevations if you needed to. And I'll, I'll try and remember to link to those in the description.